I'm settling down, my text goes, you scream, you know better than that, I come around when you least expect me, I'm sitting at the bar when your class is empty, you thinking that the song's coming home and Play retirements. A lot of these guys, I'm, you know what, I'm going to go through here and try to make sure that a lot of these guys don't retire. Because a lot of these guys didn't really retire at this point. I mean, can't do Charles Oakley because we already brought him back once. But a lot of these guys were still playing in the NBA at this point. Now, I will say, Dennis Rodman had retired by this point. But we're going to try and bring him back, see if he'll come back for one more year. Why would Tony Kukoc retire? Seriously, game. Come on, 2K. Come on, 2K. Staff retirements. Don't know any of these people, so we're going to go ahead and move on here. Man, there's a lot of staff retirements. Jeez. Jersey retirements. I'm going to edit that out. Historic changes. All right, so here are the historic changes. Five second back to the basket violations. Now a thing. Heat. Hornets, Lakers, Pacers, Cavs, Celtics, Hawks, all change in their uniforms and their floor. League meetings, nothing. Draft lottery. Now, the Bulls did actually win this draft lottery, the 1999 draft lottery. They drafted Elton Brand. But since we brought back MJ and those guys, we're not in the lottery. Cavs win the number one pick. Jazz number two. Hornets number three. So my plan right now is for, let's go into staff signing here. Um, are there any decent assistant coaches, like a big man coach or something? Well, I guess I could sign a big man coach here. Are there any big guys that we could hire? Like any former players, maybe? Moses Malone? Come on, please be our big man coach. Let's go. Moses Malone is our big man coach, and he's still wearing the goggles. This dude is dedicated to the craft. Let's go into the draft, and then maybe maybe we can find something. Yeah, we'll do this. First round pick from the Celtics. Yes, please. Do that. And then sim to user pick again. Trade, trade finder. We get rid of this pick too no okay um how about this pick and a first next year any more oh three picks that we could possibly get Ooh, we could get a first round pick in 03 here from the jazz um i'll probably do that yep we're gonna do that all right so we're getting the jazz's 03 first round pick yeah, I'm getting rid of a, a lot there, but I don't really care. Manu goes to the Cavs. Baron Davis goes to the Jazz. Lamar Odom goes to the Hornets. Elton Brand goes to the Clippers. Andre Miller goes to the Pacers. All right. Rookie signing. Tony Ross. What? What? Huh? We didn't have a pick, I thought. Okay. Team player options. None. Can we bring back... I'm not bringing back Scott Burrell, Lenny Forbes, or Dickie Simpkins. They can go kick dirt. Let's see if we can get Scotty. We'll give him $11 million. He's agreed to the deal. Welcome back, Scotty. We got to keep this team together, baby. Scotty wanted to get paid. He's getting paid. So the team stays together, even though it probably was a mistake. We're keeping the boys together. Uh, all right, let's see what else we can get here. BJ Armstrong, we could bring him back. Reunite him. Ron Harper. Let's let's see if we can bring Ron back. Are there any centers that's worth a crap? Vladi Divok. Dennis Rodman. Here's the thing about Dennis. Yes, he's an 84 overall. Yes, he brings a lot to the team. But he's probably going to retire at the end of the year. Let's see if we can get Vladi. I said I needed a big man. All right, so Vladi signed. We got ourselves a big man, finally. Thank goodness. So Ron signs. Uh, what do I do here? 
Ron Harper's not that great. But we'll uh, we'll hold on to him. All right, so Dennis is gone. I don't know where Dennis went. I don't really care. Um, he he burned a bridge with us. He burned a bridge, and he he shouldn't have. Grant Long, Grant Long will replace him. We'll replace him. We're not cap holding Luke Longley. We're not cap holding Randy Brown. We have no money to sign Dennis Rodman now. My hope is, well, never mind. I was going to say my hope is he falls and no one signs him, but that did not happen. Okay, moving on. Shaq and Kobe, they whooped us. They absolutely whooped us. So we had to had to kind of retool the roster a little bit. We got Scottie Pippen. He's an 89. Michael's an 88. Kukoc is an 80. We brought in Vladi Divac. I was like, you know what? Watching Luke Longley get dominated by Shaquille O'Neal, I couldn't do it anymore. So I decided, you know what? We got to go out and get ourselves an actual center that's going to play the freaking game. Brought back Ron Harper. Got a backup center also kind of power forward and Eldon Campbell brought in Cliff Robinson RIP to Cliff Robinson Steve Kerr coming back then we got Grant Long don't know how he's still in the NBA B Shaw is on the team we got Sam Cassell Dale Davis Tremont Goodwin not real Ron Kersey not real let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the NBA real fast Kobe right now number one player in the NBA we got Shaq number two player in the NBA and they're on the same team crazy Kevin Garnett's with the Timberwolves AI with the Sixers Jason Kidd went to the Lakers for some reason Tim Duncan still with the Spurs Zoe with the Heat Steve Nash with the Mavs Jamal Mashburn Heat so a, a lot of uh, a lot of guys still at the same spots I'm kind of nervous about this. I don't know how this team's going to be. Uh, Charles Barkley went to the Nugs. Whatever. Gary Payton also went to the Lakers. So this shit is going to be crazy this year. Let's take a look at the power rankings. We're ninth, so I'll take that. We are the one, two, three, four. We're the fifth best team in the East, according to these power rankings. I don't know how good we're going to be. Let's take a look at the game plan. Steve Kerr's the starting point guard. Not sure why. We need to have Ron Harper in there. Uh, so we got Ron Harper, MJ, Scottie Pippen, Cliff Robinson, and Tony Kukoc. Why is Tony Kukoc not starting at power forward? He is a power forward, correct? Come on, 2K. Um, our bench depth, not good. You know what? We're just going to sim this season again. And I, I have, I have said, you know, I want to build towards the future. Yeah. I mean, I want to get at least one more championship for MJ just to get him number seven. But one thing I will say. I want to build for that 2003 draft. I want to get LeBron, I want to get Melo, and I want to get Bosch. D-Wade, if we get D-Wade, that'd be fine. But I think that would be a pretty freaking stacked team. And that would be a lot of fun to run with. Um, so we're just going to sim to the trade deadline, see how this team does. If they're bad, we'll make some moves. Hell, I might rebuild it in the middle of the year. I don't know. We are at the trade deadline. We are 33-12. and 12. I'm honestly surprised. Honestly surprised. This team looking good. Scott, I mean, everybody's looking good. Um, maybe getting rid of Rodman. and Well, I mean, we didn't get rid of Rodman. Rodman just left. Rodman was like, I'm not, I'm not staying here. I'm going to be my own man and play for the freaking terrible Rockets. Look at this team. This team's terrible. I, I bet I bet that team is the worst in the NBA. Let's just look at the standings. I bet the Rockets are the worst in the NBA. Yeah, they're pr they're pretty shit. Twelve and thirty-one. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. So right now we are the one seed. We're four and a half games up on the 76ers. So I'm not gonna make any trades. This team, this team's looking like it's gonna make a playoff run, and I'm here for it. Not gonna make any trades. I will look at contract extensions real quick though, because I do not want to lose anybody. So. Scotty is here. MJ says he wants to test free agency. I don't like that. Now, I will say this. Whatever I got to throw at MJ, I will. I don't know why it says Tony Kukoc's salary is zero. 
that doesn't make any sense. Um, okay. But I'll throw whatever I have to throw at MJ to bring him back. If I gotta throw him 20 mil, I will do that. Uh, we'll send him to this right here just to see if he changes his mind. He probably won't, which is fine. Um, damn, we are on fire right now. Contract extensions. He still wants to test free agency. Whatever, you can test free agency, but you're coming back to Chicago, bro. You're coming back to Chicago. You don't have a choice. Okay, so Shaq wins MVP once again. Nice. Manu Ginobili wins Rookie of the Year with the Cavs. Doug Christie wins Sixth Man of the Year with the Nuggets. Defense Player of the Year, Kevin Garnett. Most Improved, Lamon Burke. And then here's your first team, second team. Sorry, for some reason it just skipped all that. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. Um, my Elgato was kind of messing up there, so... MJ did make all NBA third team, so that's nice. And he made all defensive first team. We are the one seed, and so are the Lakers. So this is going to be... Are we going to have a rematch in the finals? We finished 14 games ahead of the Sixers for first place. We got the Hawks. Game one, we win. Game two, they win somehow. Game three, we win. Game four, we win. All right, we're in the next round. Let's see what the Lakers do over here. Lakers are going to... Game five against the Grizzlies, and they win. All right, so we got the Miami Heat. They got Mashburn, Morning, Hardaway. So they got a decent team, and they got Rasheed Wallace, apparently. All right, so we might be in a dogfight here. Uh, game one, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. They win game four. We win game five. All right. So the Lakers and the Nugs are over in the West. We are facing off against the 76ers. They got Allen Iverson. He put up 41 points in their last game, 17 assists. Derek Coleman, they got Latrell Sprewell and Sean Kemp on their team. So again, not a bad squad. Let's see what happens. Game one goes to them. Game two goes to us. Game three goes to us. Game four goes to us. Game five goes to them. Game six goes to them. All right, game seven, Eastern Conference Finals. Can we do it? All right, there it is. We're in the NBA Finals. We're playing the LA Lakers once again, playing in Los Angeles. Let's see what happens. All right, they win game one. That's fine. They only won by four points. Whatever. I did not mean to hit play game. Kobe put up 32, Shaq 21, Jason Kidd 11. MJ put up 26. We just, I just don't think we have the dogs. We don't have the dogs to, to hang with them. Game two, we win. We win by five points. All right, so we take home court advantage. I like that. Now, game three, they win. They win by 10. Shaq is just, again, he's just dominating us. We have no answer for Shaq. 38 points, 20 rebounds. How, who's going to stop him? Game five of the NBA Finals. Let's do a little simcast here, see what happens. We're in an elimination game, so let's just do this. It's a little back and forth. Well, it was back and forth until I said something about it being back and forth. Bulls cut it to five. Bulls cut it to three. Bulls take the lead for a second. All right, tie game, 1 minute and 14 seconds left, 116 all. The Bulls with their backs against the wall. And we are in Staples Center, so that's pretty cool. All right, where is... There it is. All right, broadcast zoom, two sides. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Here's Ku coach. Robinson finds Jordan. Jordan guarded by Gary Payton. This team is crazy. Gary Payton, Jason Kidd, Kobe, and Shaq. What a team. Oh, what a pass by Jordan to Cliff Robinson, and the Bulls take the lead. Jordan's got 10 assists, 27 and 10. 
Jason Kidd bringing it up. Picked up by Jordan. Oh, nice little dribble move right there. Jordan's all over him. Wasn't on him enough, though. We got 45 seconds to go here. 118-118. Harper brings the ball up the floor. Gives it to Jordan. Jordan over to Robinson. I can't even see where the ball's going half the time. What is this camera angle? Oh, what a pass to Cliff Robinson. And one! Oh, my goodness. Shaq also, look at those numbers. Absolutely dominating. He must be fouled out or something is what I'm assuming. Cliff Robinson coming up huge for the Bulls here. Looking like a great acquisition in the offseason. Luke Longley who? All right, here we go. Shaq must be fouled out. Let's take a look. Yep, Shaq's out of the game. I, I just, I, 2K Simulator just doesn't care, dude. They don't care. All right, Cliff Robinson stepping to the line. Huge free throw. And he gets it to go. Also, why do they make Phil Jackson so small? Phil Jackson is like six foot ten or some shit. And they got Steve Kerr out here dwarfing him. 28 seconds to go. Bulls elimination game. Temple. Don't know who that is. Kobe. Jordan guarding him. Oh my god, he just just drove right by Jordan. Jordan passes the ball to Ron Harper in crunch time. What are we doing here, Bulls? Not making very good decisions here. You're going to put Ron Harper to the line instead of Michael Jordan? Interesting. Harper looks nervous. Also, I forgot we got Moses Malone over there on the bench. He looks he looks like he's, you know, the right height. Harper hits the first. It's like Brian Shaw is coming in the game for the Bulls and for this cursey guy. He doesn't know where to go. Just stands right in front of Sam Cassell. Harper misses. Devok gets the rebound. Harper's going to go back to the line. Again, another great acquisition by me, myself, picking up Floddy Devok. Oh, my goodness. Ron Harper is choking this game away. Sam Cassell coming in for Brian Shaw. Can Harper hit this one? Is he going to have Nick Anderson syndrome? And he gets it to go. Lakers not going to take a timeout. Kobe bringing the ball up the floor. What's he going to do? He's just going to go straight to the rack, it looks like. Oh, my goodness. Michael Jordan doesn't know what to do with Kobe Bryant. This is much, much like last year's NBA Finals. Michael Jordan's going to step to the line here. Oh, he just pushed Gary Payton. It's just like last year in the NBA Finals. Kobe Bryant took Michael Jordan to school, and he's doing it again here tonight in a clinching game. Now Michael Jordan has a chance to exercise the demons of last year, stepping up to the line. A couple of huge free throws right here. Can he get them both to go? He hits the first. Big shot right there. Dale Davis coming in for Sam Cassell. Big shot here for Jordan. He gets it to go. All right, what are the Lakers going to do here? Are they going to go for another quick two or are they going to shoot a three? Peyton brings it up the floor. P.J. Brown... Kobe in the corner. They need a three. Peyton misses it. 
And we're going to game six. Michael Jordan and the Bulls stay alive. The Staples Center crowd is in shock right now. Look at him. Cliff Robinson. Huge. Huge clutch moments for that guy. And there's the ball. All right, so Shaq, another dominating game, but of course he fouls out because 2K Simulator is trash. Hey, 2K, get your simulation figured out. Stop fouling out every fucking player. Scottie Pippen also fouled out, so there you go. This game sucks. Game six of the 2000 NBA Finals. Can Michael Jordan and the Bulls stave off elimination for one more game? All right, we're going to jump in here. Game six. Two minutes and 34 seconds left. The Bulls are up 114 to 112. We're going to jump in here. Eldon Campbell passing the ball in here. Gives it off to Jordan. Jordan steps back. Misses it. Shaq gets the board. Gives it off to Jason Kidd. Big game right here. Oh, big, ooh, big time defense there from Cliff. Bulls just couldn't corral it there. We got a tie game, 114 all. Um, I'm going to change the camera angle because I'm. It's it's a little too close. It's a little too close. You can't see the whole floor. So, Scotty over on the wing gets down into Jordan. Terrible pass. Oh, Jordan. Gary Payton, the glove. He can't stop Jordan. Didn't couldn't stop him in '96. Jordan laughed at him about it, and now he just took Gary straight to the rack. Gary had no answer for him. And then for Los Angeles, BJ Brown's checked in for Kidd. And it's Fox and four. If I'm the Lakers here, I just give it down into Shaq. That's what they did in last year's finals. But the Bulls do have an actual center this year in Vladi Divok. Ron Harper all over Gary Payton. And Vladi Divok lets Shaq backdoor him. And he slams it home. Terrible defense there. Jordan bringing the ball up, getting a pick from Vladi Divok. Oh my goodness. Jordan's putting, he's putting Peyton in a blender tonight. Look at him, he's stirring it around. It's like, this guy can't stop me. The glove who? The Bulls are hyped. Vladi Divok has got to play some defense here on Shaquille O'Neal. Mike Dunleavy. Trying to coach his guys up. Kobe Bryant back in the game. Jordan guarding him. Oh, ooh, Jordan with a almost had a steal right there. Oh my, cold-blooded shot there from Kobe Bryant. Getting a screen from Shaq there. Just pulls up. Nothing but the bottom of the net. He held the Jordan pose. Oh my goodness, the disrespect. Are you kidding me? Michael Jordan, Gary Payton, guarding him again. You would think they would switch up there. They don't. They bring the double team down into Divock. Divock better get out of the lane. He's going to get called for three seconds. Oh, and they call a foul on P.J. Brown. Cliff Robinson going to step to the line here, shooting two. Can Cliff knock down these free throws? These are some big free throws. Why is Phil Jackson smaller than the referee? God damn, dude. Look how small he is. Cliff hits the first one. I mean, that's just disrespectful to Phil Jackson, dude. Phil Jackson was a tall man. He is a tall man. I don't know, say, I don't know why I'm saying was. He's still alive. Look how small they made my guy Phil Jackson. Oh, my God. God, do better, 2K. Cliff, step to the line for number two here. And he hits it. Cliff Robinson, such a huge pickup for this Bulls team in the offseason. Great player. Jason Kidd, picked up by Ron Harper. Not sure why Divock didn't jump there. He just sat there and watched Kidd shoot the shot. We got one minute to go here. 
What are the Bulls going to do? Ron Harper. Oh, we got a mismatch down low. They need to give that. They should have gave that ball down into Devok. devok has got Jason Kidd on him right now. Oh, terrible pass from Scottie Pippen. Robinson, not sure what he's doing. Gives it to Jordan. Over Kobe. Missed it. We got 38 seconds to go here. Michael Jordan just had a shot to, to take the lead, and he missed it. Oh, my goodness. This Bulls team has no answer for Jason Kidd, apparently. The Bulls don't necessarily need a three-pointer here. Jordan, I mean, he's he's got guys wide open. Cliff Robinson puts it up, and he missed it. Oh, my goodness, he missed it. P.J. Brown going to the line for the Lakers, and he can seal it right here. He could seal the Lakers' second straight NBA championship and their second straight victory in the NBA Finals over the Chicago Bulls. P.J. hits the first one, drills it, and it is not looking good for Michael Jordan and the Bulls. Bulls not going to use a timeout. They got to hurry up and score here. I'd say take a three, but I don't know if they're going to. Jordan backing down Shaq at the three-point line. Ron Harper way off. And it looks like that's going to do it. The Lakers once again are going to beat the Chicago Bulls. And I once again have to go back to the drawing board because I don't know what I'm going to do. To help this team beat this L.A. Lakers team. I don't know what to do. I got to I gotta go out and find a center that's going to be able to, to hang around Shaq. Because Shaq has just been dominating. I mean, this three-headed monster of Shaq, Kobe, and Jason Kidd is going to be extremely tough to stop. Especially knowing that Michael Jordan might not come back. He's going to test free agency at the end of this season. I don't know what the Bulls are doing. Vladi Divac shoots a three and misses it. And that's it, folks. The Los Angeles Lakers have won it all. Wow. And the Lakers are your NBA champions. Oh, to be crowned a champion on the road is something else. To win and to do it with a crowd that was so emotional. Shaq and Kobe back-to-back so -back -back NBA champions. You've the team and you've conquered everything that this great arena holds. Yeah, it's a bittersweet moment for the home crowd. But all full credit to the visitors and the amazing job they did to never lose focus or drive. And is that pop pop in a Lakers? Oh, whatever. Towards all season long, and even if they don't get to celebrate, shout out to pop pop. Fans, that does not take anything away from the satisfaction. I thought I, you know, going out and getting Vladi Divac, I thought that was the piece that we were missing, and obviously he wasn't. NBA commissioner doing the honor. So I'm going to have to make some moves in the offseason because this team, they just didn't get it done. Shaq, once again, your finals MVP. Back-to-back -back years beating Michael Jordan and the Bulls. I mean, Jason Kidd, I mean, he was just taking Ron Harper to school. And then that shot right there by Kobe Bryant, that was big time. Terrible defense by Vladi Divac. What can, you know, what can you do? I mean, I, I it's going to be hard to get somebody that can compete with this. He's won back-to-back -back MVPs regular season. He's won back-to-back -back finals MVPs. He's putting up 37 and 15 every game. I mean, how do I stop that? It's 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 hard. I mean, Vladi Divac isn't the answer, you know. Cliff Robinson isn't the answer. Cliff Robinson's 33 years old. Shaq is 28. You know, we got a prime Shaq and Kobe here. They're tough to stop. And they got Gary Payton. And they got Rick Fox. And they got, oh yeah, Jason Kidd, 27 years old, in his prime. I mean, it's this is tough. It, it's going to be tough to build a team that can beat this Lakers team, especially if they keep adding pieces like Jason Kidd. 
Um, Shaq, 28 points, 14 boards a game in the finals. I, I don't know how I'm going to stop that. He's 300 pounds, 28 years old. He's, he's going to be around for a while. And plus, now knowing, hey, you know what? MJ might not come back. MJ's... MJ wants to test free agency, so we'll see what happens. Tony Kukoc is retiring. Why? Six years pro, and he's going to retire? Give me a break, dude. So there's another piece we're losing, so we might just be heading into complete rebuild mode. Draft lottery. Clippers do not win the draft lottery. The Celtics do. So the 2000 draft again, another weak class, nothing nothing crazy. Um, head coach, we'll bring in, we'll bring Phil back. We'll bring Phil back. Says he's tentative and he rejects our offer. So right here it says Clippers. Did Phil Jackson really go to the Clippers? Is that what just happened? Larry Bird? We could bring Larry Bird in as the head coach. We got him. Larry Bird is our head coach. Holy shit! Yo! Okay, Larry Legend. One of the greatest NBA players of all time. And not only that, one of the greatest actors of all time. I'll take that. Who needs Phil Jackson anyways? I can't believe he went to the Clippers. Oh, he didn't go to the Clippers. Okay, then where did he... Oh, he did go. He... Phil Jackson went from making two and a half million dollars a year as a head coach to making 1.39 million dollars a year as a big man coach? Bro, Phil Jackson... That maybe that just shows you how bad our franchise is right now. Maybe that just shows you what kind of spot our front office is in right now. When you have Phil Jackson leaving a head coaching position with an NBA championship caliber team to being a big man coach with a team that was just that just had the worst record in the NBA. I'm embarrassed. I'm seriously I'm embarrassed right now. This team's in shambles. I might just need to rebuild it now. I'm serious. Kenyon Martin's the number one pick. We don't have a draft pick anyways. Michael Jordan wants to leave. Yeah, we might be in rebuild mode, folks. We'll try and get MJ back. We'll, uh, we'll give him everything that we can. Give him a nice five-year deal. All right, MJ, MJ agrees to come back, so that's great. You know what? I could get rid of Lottie, and I would be all right with that. Let's get Vladi off of our books because he's just—he's not—he's not the guy. He's not—he's not the guy. Ooh, we could bring in Bryant Reeves, big country. He's an 83. He's only 27 years old. I like this. He's seven foot tall. Yeah, he looks like the Oklahoma City Bomber, but let's bring him in. Yeah, we're getting rid of Ron Harper, but Ron, I mean, uh, watching him play defense against Jason Kidd, I'm fine with him not coming back. So, see you later, Ron. Bye-bye. Eldon Campbell could also probably walk. We could get rid of Grant Long as well. I'll do this. Michael Little Candy, that's fine. What could we get for, uh, for Scotty? We could get Van Nexel and Dikembe. Baron Davis. And a first round pick. Grant Hill. Damn. Antoine Jameson and Steve Smith. Yo. That is not bad. Can Steve Smith play the... Yeah, he can play the three. Scotty Pippen, listen. The things that you've done for this franchise, I could never repay you for that. I can never be able to repay you for the sixth NBA, the six NBA championships that you brought to this team. I could never repay you for that. I did give you a fat contract when you're an aging player, or whatever. But it's it's time to move on. We're gonna move on from you. You're you're aging. 
We could go out and get Antoine Jameson and Steve Smith, two young guys. Got 31, 24 years old. Got to do it. Scotty, thank you for your service. But you're gone. All right, let's look at our roster real fast. Jameson, Jordan, Steve Smith, Big Country, Jim Jackson, Bonzi Wells, Steve Kerr, Michael Olawakandi, Malik Rose, Sam Cassell, Chris Dudley, Charlie Ward. Vince Beasley, Tony Massenburg. Okay. Shaq and Kobe, both 96. Jason Kidd at 95. That Lakers team is just unfair. It's just unfair. Antoine Jameson came in and took Scottie Pippen's number. Yikes. All right, Scottie Pippen playing with the Warriors. Let's take a look at their roster real fast, see who he's going to be playing with. Rodney Rogers and Corey Maggette. And Clarence Weatherspoon. And KJ. Okay. All right. Well, that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to build this team, man. It's tough. I don't know which way to go. Do I rebuild or do I stick with MJ and just build a team around him? I don't know. We at least got MJ for this year and next year because even if he retires at the end of the year, we get to keep him for one more year. So my goal is to hopefully get MJ and LeBron to play together on the same team for at least one season. That's my goal. So we'll see if we can make that happen. Anyways, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you on another time. Peace. You fucker!